Welcome to week two of my volleyball prototype. So I started this week with two big ticket items, uh, blocking and diving. Those were the two main gameplay mechanics that were missing from the previous week. And with those in, now you have real extended volleyball-like rallies, and it's starting to feel pretty fun with that in there. Um, blocking is probably a bit overpowered at the moment, uh, but it's it's incredibly fun to just absolutely roof a guy, so you know, still figuring out the balance there. But with all the basic volleyball gameplay components in, the next big step was player controls. And if you watched the previous video, I mentioned it was just the AI playing each other. Okay, let's see how I do. And you know, the AI handles the gameplay mechanics really well. They hit their spots, timing works really well. I, on the other hand, immediately found everything just way too hard, borderline impossible to play. And I really had to break down what wasn't working. And so I started, I just slowed everything down. That's, that's step one, simplified what, what you actually had to do to, to play volleyball and realized it was more about just getting into position and, and timing and understanding what was playing. So way more generous with snapping you into position when the ball's coming. And when you actually get into position, if you're standing still, you'll automatically bump or set the ball um, and just simplified that. So. That, that's easier off the bat. And then once you're in a spot or if you're moving towards a spot, if the ball is out of reach and you need to dive or reach for it, you just press a button and hit a direction in the ball and it'll do it. And so that feels that feels pretty rewarding and feels like you actually you know made a quick reaction and, and made a play. So that, that balances out really well. Blocking on the other hand is 100% manual and you have to pick the, both the location and the timing of it. And I mentioned blocking being overpowered and some of that has to do with just your ability to block everything. I could see it be more see it being more about like arm movement once you're up in the air, but right now with it at 100% manual, it still feels like super fun to do. Hitting required a ton of work to get right. And uh, again, I simplified the the jump portion and just wanted to focus on hitting. So you just, you need to hit the spot where the jump should, you know, where the set's coming in and the game will automatically jump for you. And then I start to do some camera work uh, and push in on the action and show more of the court from like a dynamic angle. And then from that point, it's all about just timing and shot location. And you know you can you can pick a spot anywhere on the court to attack from and get up in the air and then once you're up there with the left stick you can just kind of fire away and you want to hit around the block and you want to see where the defender is on the other side of the court that's kind of like core bread and butter volleyball beach volleyball um, same with eventually you would want to have like cut shots and roll shots and dinks and all all that stuff that's like essential to, to beach um, that would be the the goal there to make the game to make the hitting part like super compelling and but right now it, it feels pretty good you can kind of blast the ball at times and that's always super fun um and you can also bang the ball into the net or bang it off the tape so there's, <laughs> you get you get both sides of the equation there but yeah overall the game's pretty it's feeling pretty fun to play uh it's still hard and i'm trying to find a better balance between i'm fighting the game versus you know the 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 opponents are beating me. It's not quite there yet, but it's getting there. And I, I, when I played this game, you know, this full video, you watch it, you'll see like, kind of went through a lull in the middle, but eventually towards the end, it started to feel like there was a comeback mounted, but well, I won't spoil it. Uh, but this is feeling pretty close to, to being done as a prototype. A, a lot of the types of things I'd be interested in doing feel more like production work. And it's probably not the, quite the time to do that yet without anyone playing this so kind of the next step here would be to close it out maybe by the end of june or before and release it and get some feedback from y'all and similar to the way we did sunday rivals or rivals back in the day just have folks play it and let me know what you think uh, and then we'll figure out where to go from there if it's going to turn into a real game or not so that's where i'm at and i'm going to keep working on it and probably make another video soon so thanks for watching